Hello. Welcome to Internet Time Card. My name's John Mills and I'm going to show you how to use how to set up Internet Time Card um, for your company. Um, so what we're seeing right now, this is the um, this is the in out board. So now you with administrator uh, username and password when you sign in this is what you see your employees don't see this this is just for you and what this is this is a full-blown um, timekeeping program that will uh, make sure that your employees get paid uh, exactly you know to the minute and that it's multiplied and they get paid to the penny so um, when you're done with this um, you, you run a payroll report which you set the beginning date and the ending date and it calculates everything and then you can go forward into your payroll system or um, you know what have you but you'll go in with accurate numbers uh, additionally um, you'll have a full set of records uh, with your employees uh, from the time they log in to the time they log out. Uh, it will be uh, annotated uh, with notes and adjustments and it is 100 percent defensible um, when you come to uh, an audit situation. So um, anyway getting back to this now this is a company roster so when you log in here for the first time uh, these users aren't going to be here so what you do when you first get in is click user administration <clears throat> now um, these users are in the system right now uh, so to add a user you just click new employee here um, going through these fields quickly work name should be uh, just a first name with no spaces this is their first and last name the level is set to user the time zone must be set to to uh, you know where you're doing your payroll from um, you can have employees in different time zones as long as you set it here and when you go to the employees um, screen it will it will have the time on there so you can verify that it's a correct time if not this time zone setting needs to be made um, email optional uh, for uh, email notification if required um, these things are optional uh, the default is you can leave everything blank here it won't affect anything it, it's it's actually better to to just take the defaults and not over configure because um, you can add that later so um, this is the users this person this employee their username and and also um, their password which is unique so um, what you're doing is you're setting up usernames and passwords for everyone in your organization which you will distribute and you manage those here um, so the status is set to active um, you know you have some other statuses here but generally like I said take the default set this to active lunch is set to off that's a default setting uh, you basically want to leave it off and have your employees log in uh, four times a day. Mark their time four times a day. Um, if you set lunch, say, to 45 minutes, you can have them um, log in at the beginning of the day, log out at the end of the day, and it will impose that 45 minutes. In other words, it'll only need two logins. But if you want to use four logins and calculate lunch, which is what I recommend because that's what it is, set lunch to off and uh, the banks um, you can you don't have to use these but you can and it's a good idea to um, so you, you basically uh, initially these are set to zero so if an employee has 60 hours of vacation saved up you'd put it here and same thing with sick and holiday so that's it so then you add the user and you come back to user administration and they're added to your roster now you can manage a lot of functions here from the roster you can control this in other words this is one screen that has incorporates all your users so you can make settings here to all these users and update this page one time 
and you don't have to go in and edit each user. For example, you can at the end of the pay period, you can adjust these banks manually here. Um, you know your lunch settings, whether there's overtime on the check or not. Um, the time the time zone you'd never change. You know if somebody you don't want them logging in or whatever, you can change the status update here one time and you're done. So basically that's it on setting up your company. Now as a time card administrator you want to control all this. So you want to make sure that this this uh, is right. And then uh, starting uh, like I, I recommend maybe a week or two before your initial pay period I would put the system in place uh, for a week or two that's generally all that's required. There's very little maintenance here, which we'll get into in the next video. But as far as controlling your group, these are your settings right here. Um, that concludes uh, part one, which is setting up the users. And the next video will show you how to uh, manage the time. <laughs>